My name is Nat Lertzima. I'm a stand-up comic. I'm the author of Cuckoo in the Nest. Welcome to my beautiful home, where I live without my parents. My book is called Cuckoo in the Nest, and it's about the six months I spent living back at home with my mum and dad at the age of 28. Ooh. My parents, much as I love them, are the worst flatmates I've ever had in my life. They're the sort of people who like all the tins in a cupboard to face forward. So when we open the door, we can see what's in there at a glance. Are you Philip Schofield? Are you Lebanon? Who knows? I was very lucky to have my parents home to go to. I reminded myself of that regularly. Especially in week three when we established that Dad had never heard of facial soap, so had spent a refreshing week using mine all over his body, willy-nilly. And it wasn't just on the nilly. My parents are incredibly clean and tidy, and they don't trust me not to mess up their house. They make me paint my toenails in the back garden, whatever the weather. Plus, I'm not allowed to use the oven, the microwave, I'm not allowed near the dining room table, or the pale coloured sofa, and I'm not allowed to walk while carrying something because you know what you're like. I finally found a flat. A little granny flat, a carbuncle on the side of a bigger house. The moment I saw it, it just said, welcome. My previous tenant has only just died. I say beautiful. Uh, we've been burgled three times in the last year because the windows don't quite close and we've got mold issues. But it's my mold. It's in my flat. Mm-mm. Touch me, I'm real. Don't touch me, i am got damp and mold on me. And although we don't know our neighbour's name or what he looks like, we do know what he sounds like on the toilet. This is a book for anyone who's had to go home and live with their parents. Apparently, there are loads of us going back and living with our parents now, so we're not losers. Or we are, but there are loads of us, so we're a gang of losers and we'll beat up the winners. Or maybe your adult children have come boomeranging back to you and you've had to slap a smile on, pretend it's fine. Or maybe this has never happened to you and you're living a life of giddy independence despite the recession. Well, fine, buy my book anyway and sneer at my misery and inferiority. I get the money either way, so it doesn't matter.